My name is uh, Nick Nevin. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Morgan Joshua Innovation, uh, part of the collaborative team that has developed the Smart Blade video lowering scope. I'm a father of two, a husband, and an advanced life support paramedic. I'm Caroline Corbett and I'm an anesthesiologist based in Cape Town, South Africa. I've spent a wealth of time in airway management. I learned to intubate on the side of the road, taught actually by my co-founder Nick Nevin, and from the pre-hospital space, I specialised in anaesthesia and I spend the bulk of my time now in theatre, managing airways there. There's nothing worse, specifically as in an emergency setting, knowing what you need to do, but not having the tools to be able to perform it. The access, the ease, the software, the technology, connecting and maintaining your records is, is, is paramount throughout those processes. It takes all of the extra equipment required in general airway management where one requires a suction, they require um, external oxygen and they require your, your laryngoscope in order to perform the entire procedure of airway management and with those extra pieces of equipment it's always nice to have an extra pair of hands. In the pre-hospital setting that's not always the case, you're often on your own and specifically within this African context. Then if you look at a clinical nurse practitioner up in Somalia, Rwanda or even in our own home of a resource poor clinic they may need to be able to access the device themselves, but it's just too expensive. So we needed to make cost-effective devices that somebody could buy themselves and not rely on a procurement department, a supervisor or a hospital group to purchase on their behalf. Then what we needed to do is we needed to make sure that there were enough of them available, not just in a cost-effective way, but in numbers. So we needed to mass produce these. They needed to be disposable, they needed to meet criteria as far as international guidelines go, and they needed to be in bulk access to all of our clinicians. So what we have is a very hyperangulated blade so that it can be used in the patient with very anterior larynx for the difficult airway as well as in the, the general airway. It is a channeled blade so wherever the camera looks is where the, the tube goes so if, once you see a good visualization of the vocal cords you just need to push the tube down the channel and it, you will get a first pass every time. This is the port where you will plug in either your suction tubing or your oxygenation and you control it via this toggle in the front. So every time you occlude the hole, um, it either pushes oxygen down the, the device or it will then perform the suction process. And the app automatically opens up and allows for viewing for performing the procedure. The clinician can then perform the procedure um, and then take it out and throw the device away as it is single use. So the app was developed as a free app that the clinician would download onto the device, either a smartphone or a smart device, a tablet, and they would be able to create their own unique user login. This was password protected and they were able to then upload that onto a content management platform at a later stage. The minute the device opens with its unique user, the clinician is able to intubate. They can either utilize image capture, video recording, or telemedicine. And through telemedicine, they're actually able to ask for help. So if an inexperienced user is faced with an airway they're not comfortable with, or if an experienced user needs just a little bit of help from a specialist, or lastly, if you're wanting to teach, you find an interesting anatomical variant or a very, very challenging scenario, you're able to actually transfer that information through the virtual space, through telemedicine, to groups of people. It's not the patients that died because they were too badly injured or, or they were too sick. It's the ones that you, you couldn't help purely because you just didn't have the right tools to do it. So this is a very exciting piece of technology. It's life-saving in so many ways and extends well beyond the boundaries of just the individual patient. Because if we lose a patient, we all lose. And each and every one of us ultimately is a patient.